so, um, I was putting some stuff away uh, from a repair job. I'm not gonna do these, it's ridiculous. I was putting some stuff away from repairing my quads. Um, and I figure it might be helpful to show you guys what I carry with me for when I go out to fly um, in terms of like repair stuff. Um, truth be told, I live in a pretty small apartment. So most of my repair stuff is in this bag. Uh, I do have some other spare stuff that I keep in a closet, but for the most part, I, it's just convenient for me to just keep it all in one little thing. Um, so with that said, I fly an Apex. This is basically the steel Apex um, with the V4 motors that I'm upgrading to. Um, the point of me showing you this is because I just want to point out that I fly two of these um, and I keep them consistently the same. It's the same parts for each. The only difference right now is I think it's just that I'm flying the V3s on the other one. These are the new ones. Um, but the re one of the big reasons why I keep them identical is so that I have less parts to track and pay for and worry about. It just keeps everything simple. And um, as you grow into the hobby, I'm sure if you've been in the hobby, you already know this, but like as you grow into it, you end up with a lot of spare parts. You, you know, maybe a pack of something comes with four and you only need two and so you end up with two extras. So over time, you end up with all these different, you know, spare parts, like uh, like these skids that I use, these Apex skids. It's like, I, I wanted the black ones and I liked the tan ones and now I like the red ones. Um, but you know, before you know it, you have a handful of these and you don't know what to do with them. So uh, it's good and bad because, you know, you might, have a lot of extra crap that you have laying around but it's really good when you break something you can pretty much fix whatever it is and you know I could carry around two of these when I got to fly in case I break one or whatever I've yet to break one um so let's dive into what I carry and I'll just kind of show you the basics and I'll then jump into the tools that I keep with me um and we'll go from there I keep an extra chin, which actually does occasionally need to be swapped, um, and an antenna holder for the Tracer Immortal T that I run. These are really good to, to have handy. Um, so let's get into the bag. So I'm just gonna pull things out, and as I, as I pull them out, I'll talk about them. Um, so this is my bag of Velcro stuff. Um, so I run the foam wedge for my GoPro. So I keep, I have a little uh, extra feed in here and stuff. So on the foam wedge, I put Velcro. Um, I have a piece of Velcro on the camera and I'll put the hook side on the actual wedge. Um, and I have two spare wedges in here because sometimes they rip off. So that is that bag. Oh yeah, again, good stuff. This is my bag of spare motor stuff. So these are, these are all V3s because that's what I've been flying for the past year or so. Um, <clears throat> I have more in here than usual because I've upgraded. So these are just spares now. Um, but I usually carry around one or two spare motors with a bell, and then one or two just new bells um, on their own, because you could buy them separate. Um, and I kind of just throw everything in here. So I got spare motor bell screws and uh, spare, uh, lot, you know, not nuts, prop nuts for them. Um, and I just throw it all in here. I mean, these motors, they're not perfect. I mean, this one has like a broken piece of aluminum in it but it still works it still spins properly and uh, I don't like to waste things so I just keep this around with me and that brings me to my new motor 
collection, which is the V4. So this is just a smaller bag, but same same idea. I have motor pants in here, uh, extra motors, extra nut. It's just whatever comes in the box, I just keep in here. Let's do camera stuff. <clears throat> so I carry, kind of accumulated these, um, but I, I carry an extra camera. So this is the Mini Swift, which I think is a, this is a CCD camera, one of the few that are still made. Um, I really like it. And uh, it's very close to the Rotoriot, to the old Swift uh, 2, I think. Um, so I just keep an extra of these. This is an RC25G uh, GoPro Hero 3 lens. They're excellent. I think it's 140 degree field of view. Um, so I just carry around extra lenses, extra cameras. I have an extra uh, shell for that camera because I crack them. Um, and then I have the hardware for the camera. I think it's M2 hardware right in here. So that's just never be caught out without that kind of uh, camera stuff. Um, on the topic of video, I carry this little bag of VTX wire harnesses. So this is, uh, you can get these from Team Black Sheep. I just buy like four or five of them at a time just to keep around. Um, and I also carry around these extra SMA pigtails. Pretty standard, it's a UFL connector to SMA. Um, I mean, I've gone through a lot of these parts, so that's why I carry so many of them. I also carry two spare Unify Pros, um, just cause. And this is a, this is a Swift, a mini, a Swift mini um, connector I keep. So all that stuff goes in there. It's pretty tidy. <clears throat> Let's see, I guess I could do this. This is my heat shrink collection. So if I change a VTX or if I change a tracer or whatever, if I need to heat shrink something, I have some spare heat shrink. I just use a lighter to melt it on there. Um, I carry spare antennas. So these are a little beat, and I have some new ones, um, but they still work. So these are just Triumph Pros, right hand SMA, um, the blue heat shrink on it because I broke the plastic. But like I said, they still work. If I'm going too fast, I apologize. Um, if there's a, a detail or something that I'm not going into that you want to know more about, please leave a comment below. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking for that kind of feedback. So let's jump into, I guess, some hardware for the frame. So I, I've been carrying around a lot of these spare arms, but I've yet to break an Apex arm. So I, I'm just gonna go down to one now. And um, this is really just if, if the edge just gets totally mangled or something and I wanna change it, I can. Um, so I just carry one, one spare arm. And then this is kind of my hardware. I'm just getting into some hardware here. So I've got a spare stack standoffs. I've got M2 nylon nuts for the stack as well, rubber o-rings for soft mounting, which I'm not using right now. Uh, I've got plastic plastic o-rings that I am using now. Um, got some M2 standoffs, and then just an assortment of that kind, you know, same size uh, hardware. Screws, nuts, standoffs, more nuts. I never go into this bag, but I just carry it in case I gotta do some major surgery, I can. 
Um, and then I also keep this bag of hardware that I, I do use pretty often. Um, so I've got some stand, spare frame standoffs, steel screws for my motors, aluminum button heads for the underside of the frame and for the top of the frame, steel shoulder bolts, more standoffs, and this is kind of like a weird little jumbled mess of uh, stuff. I don't even know why I carry this, but I, I've got some like plastic spacers in here and stuff and some rubber grommets. Um, I, this is really just like random stuff that I keep. Um, and then the last thing that I'll get into is I, I also like to keep spare electronics. Um, I mean, it sucks to fry something in the field, but it's good to have like spare ESC, Z, uh, power regulator board. I, I've yet to blow any of these out. I just happen to have them. Spare wire harness, other wire harnesses, spare tracer antenna in case mine gets chewed up. I've got a couple, got my old KISS V2s with me, because they're just as good as the Fettec. If I want to swap back, I can, if I need to. I've got a spare tracer receiver. Uh, more wire harnesses, 90 degree SMA adapter, which I would use on my goggle. I've got a Fettec uh, spike absorber here for the ESC. I need it. Another power regulator, which is kind of redundant, and a spare cap. So, again, I mean, I I never go, I, I rarely go into this stuff to utilize them, um, and I'm technically down a build right now, so that's that's why I have so much spare like this stuff. Just extra, um, and the price was going up, so I figured I'd just jump on it and get it. But the idea is that you can, I can go out and fly, and unless I have a catastrophic failure where, you know, things go up in flames, I could pretty much rebuild the quad from scratch and not ruin my day. And I think that's kind of a key thing. It's like, for me going out, let me turn this up. For me going out, it's a big deal. It's like a once a week thing if I'm lucky and uh, I like to take advantage of it as much as I can. It, it takes me a long time to get there. It takes a lot of planning for me to do it. Um, I'm generally trying to fly new spots, so I'm always, uh, you know, there's there's just a lot of factors, like a lot of things need to align. You know, you gotta not get kicked out of the new spot. You gotta have all your quads working and all that stuff. And, you know, I test as much as I can um, before I go out, but sometimes you just get there and like something stupid is going on with the quad and you just wanna be able to fix it, you know, whatever it is. Um, and with that, I will probably get one of those little KISS keychain things so I can actually do um, some configuration on the fly instead of bringing a laptop. But that's what I've got. Um, and then I can go into my, this is my tool bag that I carry. And this is kind of like a leathery, thick material. And I like that because it, the stuff is kind of sharp. So A, it doesn't poke through. And I can just throw it in my bag. And um, it's just kind of like a tough little bag. So I've got tweezers, carry some pliers, super glue, I got a smoke stopper. Uh, these tweezers, these are excellent. Highly recommend these. Um, 
I think I got these from I Fix It. Yeah, these are I Fix It. Really good. Toothbrush with hair on it. In case I gotta comb my hair, but also for just like cleaning up after I do some soldering. Um, got an X-Acto knife. Got snips, super important. Torx driver, which is a set of which I have three. <laughs> um, so I've got, I've got Torx, I've got Phillips head and flathead, and then I got a new Torx because I kind of ruined the, this driver a little bit. Um, so this one, I think it's T, T4 through T, T10 or something like that. So it's got little multiple sizes in the back, which is nice. Um, same with these. It's got like a little sectioned thing in the back, which is kind of cool. Um, what else? Prop tool, super important. Got Loctite, jeweler's uh, file, in case I need to file down some carbon and whatnot. I've got a real knife. And this plastic splunger thing, also from I Fix It. It's got like a wedge on the end, so if you need to pry something up, you can. It's pretty strong. I mean, it, it's got some flex to it, but it is a strong product. Um, and it's got this nice pointy tip, which allows you to hit those, those little tiny bind buttons and stuff. Um, and this is great because it's plastic, so you can go into your quad while it's powered up and poke buttons to your heart's content without worrying about, uh, you know, shorting something out and destroying your investment. Um, with all that said, I'm actually going to be slimming down what I bring. Um, and I think I've pretty much figured out what I want to bring from now on, which is basically this Torx driver, prop tool, snips, tweezers, um, I think that's all. I'll probably bring this stuff with me and some super glue, but I'm trying to get it down a, a bit lighter. Um, and actually, one of the, yeah, if, if this had a, a 1.5 or whatever it is, um, driver, I wouldn't even be bringing this thing with me. I, I just bring this because it, it goes small enough that I can drive an M2, um, for the camera. So that's, that's why I bring it. Um, it's also a little bit more comfortable when you're doing a, a repair job and you got like eight of these to go through. This is just easier. Um, so yeah, so let me know in the comments, give me comments, give me feedback. Let me, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. Um, but feedback is really important to me and I want to make more videos like this, but I need the guidance from what you're looking for. So, you know, if there's a, a part that I didn't go into that you want me to get into, I'm happy to. Um, if you want to see what's in my bag, let me know. I can do a, a bag tear down as well. Um, and yeah, so keep me posted what you want. <laughs> It helps, and I'll see you on the next one.